I'm in the bike barn taking the final components off of the mongoose durum before I turn it into Project Pork Chop. However, as I get back to here, and there's a lot of controversy about me even making this into a project bike, because normally this wouldn't qualify. So what is it about this bike that makes it not normally eligible to be a project build? Well, first, let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with the Mongoose Durham. If you have a Durham, be incredibly happy with it. Any bike is a good bike as long as you can ride it and enjoy it. Not to mention, this is a looker. It is a sharp bike. It has a nice looking frame, nice components. Considering the price, this is a decent, decent bike in my opinion. It's just that when it comes project time, me sinking lots of money into a bike, or even what I'll do with the bike. If something breaks, what I'm willing to invest more in, there are limits. And in the case of the Mongoose Durham, this is a bike that I would fix what broke as I was riding it and get that going, but not really go much above what it is already, but I would put personalization items on it. New pedals, maybe new bars, grips, a seat, things like that. I wouldn't go out with a new wheel set normally. Of course, I'm about to. But normally, I wouldn't do that on a bike like this, especially because there's something about this frame. And I'm giving you the best view of it because it's back here. So here's the aluminum frame. You can see this comes down there's a little arm made onto this, and remember, this is aluminum, and the derailleur mounts directly to this. This is a derailleur hanger, in this case, it's just made into the frame. Sometimes they're called derailleur hangers, sometimes mech hangers, sometimes frame doodle. Okay, I made that up and may have cracked myself up, so I had to edit this in, but if we could get that to stick, I'm just saying I would almost pay money to hear a bike bro say, dude, you bent your frame doodle. So, just think about it. That's all I'm saying. That aside, this frame has its own built-in hanger. Normally, and at least on a bike that I would consider for project status, this would be its own separate part, like this. This is a derailleur hanger. This is also made out of aluminum, but it's a softer aluminum than the frame. These are 6061 aluminum usually. I don't know what grade this is, but it's designed to be the part that gives. A little counterintuitive if you think about it, because we've always said the less that can go wrong, so the least amount of parts, that's one less thing that can fail. Well, in this case, you want the failure point. You want something like this. Now, this one's black. Normally, they are aluminum or silver colored. I've only seen them in black or silver, but usually they're in silver. And by the way, here's the, here's the part number on this one. Guess. You can guess what this came off of. I would be curious to see if you would know what, well, actually, it's not what it came off of. It was a replacement for that I never had to use. But just take a guess. What bike, out of all the bikes that I've reviewed, this was the hanger for? But the reason this Mongoose Durham wouldn't be normally a project bike is because of this. Because aluminum onto aluminum with this, or actually one piece aluminum with this, if this falls over and something smacks this derailleur, or any derailleur that's on there, it can very easily bend that hanger. I have bent hangers before. Now, it doesn't happen all that often, I will admit. But I have, or at least I've had experience with bending a hanger before, simply from a bike falling over onto the right side. So think about that. This is made into the frame, and this is aluminum. One of the things about aluminum, if this were a steel frame and it bent a little, you could bend it back and it would still have a pretty good bit of its strength, practically all of it. Aluminum doesn't bend and bend back well, it weakens. And that means that without a replaceable derailleur hanger, if this bends, you bend it back, you're on borrowed time. You bend it again, I mean, the frame becomes disposable. And that's the one part of a bike that you definitely don't want to consider disposable. At least I don't. The way this would normally mount, this would come straight back. It would have a protrusion here that can vary by hanger. But you can see this one has a cutout here. And it would go right onto that protrusion. And you can see that's where the derailleur itself would screw directly in. And if this were to fall over and it had this, it hits down here. It bends in. It bends this softer metal Saves the frame, good, good, good idea. And that's why this Mongoose Durham normally wouldn't be a project bike here on Kev Central. So why am I making it a project bike? I've seen many comments about this. Why would you do this? It's wasting resources. Well, I've been collecting 26er parts for quite some time. 
And it turns out that when it comes to budget, 20, you know, 26ers, not that common anymore in the mountain bike world. I was raised with 26ers. I feel most confident. It's how I was raised riding on a mountain bike trail. It's very comfortable to me, but still, biking has evolved. Mountain biking has evolved. And it's not that common, especially on budget 26ers, to find an aluminum 26er frame that has a replaceable derailleur hanger until you get up into the 350, 379, and more pricing, which is definitely not Mongoose Durham pricing. This is a very budget-focused bike. Because I have 26er parts, I've been waiting, I've had them for a while, and I do like the look of this Durham, and I think this red, it's gonna go with some of the parts, at least looks wise, and two, I just want to see, I like that 26er ride, I want to see what it's gonna do, I can't wait anymore. That's why I'm making Project Pork Chop. And also, why my hold up? Because I was seriously debating. Should I even do this? Because this doesn't have a replaceable hanger, and this creates another dilemma. I've thought about this. I was going to build this bike out, make the review video about it, have some fun on it, and then strip all that stuff off, put all the factory parts back on, donate it to the local trail nonprofit, and they could use the money to go towards the trails. Although there is another option. Now, this is somewhat wasteful, but it could be maybe educational. What if I got it built out, I do everything that I need to do on it, have the fun that I want to have on it, and then I'm ready to move on, and then I knock it over. Show you how easy it actually can be to bend one of these frame, made onto the frame little ears, frame doodle. If this frame doodle were to bend, how easy it would be to bend it back, but also how that weakens it, maybe knock it over again. Of course, that would make this recycling at that point and kind of wasteful. Comment below if you think that would be educational enough to do, and maybe I will consider it. But that's the topic of this video, Derailleur Hangers, Project Pork Chop, and Why the Why. So there you go. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a derailleur up. If you found it super informative, thanks for watching Kev Central. Stay tuned because it's getting closer. I'm going to strip the rest of these parts off tonight and start putting the new stuff on. Have a great day.